Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox and welcome. Welcome to Tuesday Teaching Tips episode 75. Three quarters of a century and still going. Today we're talking about how to preach for the very first time. Perhaps you're a seasoned speaker or perhaps you're not and perhaps it's the very first time you're coming up to a particular opportunity to preach or teach and it's the first time and how are you going to prepare? Well today is the first of a two-part series of how to get ready for that big day. It's exciting, it's nerve-wracking, but it's going to be great if you just follow a few principles and some tips that I have for you today and next week. Today we're going to focus more on the preparation of what you're going to say and then a sec next week we're going to talk about how to prepare yourself on the day on the actual occasion. So firstly, the day itself. I remember the first time I preached, I'd done a few little lessons here and there, but the first time I spoke on a Sunday, I shared actually a sermon with another friend of mine called Steve Allen, Stephen Arthur Allen. He and I preached half a sermon each. Well, that was quite terrifying enough anyway, half a sermon. I remember it well. I don't remember exactly what I spoke about, but I do remember the feeling back in 1987, maybe early 1988, a long time ago now, but still etched in my memory are the feelings of that day, the terror and the excitement. Anyway, seven tips for you today to help you get ready for that big occasion. Number one, ask if you can pick your own passage. You may have to follow a series, you may be part of another uh, teaching plan that's going on, but if you can, if you can, ask the person who's asking you to speak whether you could pick your own passage, your own text, your own section of the Bible, because if it's yours, if you've chosen it, somehow I think that helps. So first of all, Ask if you can pick your own passage. If you can't, it's not the end of the world, but give it a go. Point number two. Ask somebody what the current needs are of the congregation to whom you will be speaking. Small group, large group, whatever. What are the needs? Ask someone mature, someone who's been there a while, not someone who's just joined the church, perhaps, although that's interesting, but someone who's been there for a while, perhaps someone in leadership who has an overview, perhaps meets a lot of people, helping people with pastoral issues. What are the needs? What are the needs for the older members, the younger members, the newer Christians, the older Christians, the teenagers? What are some of the needs? If you can, ask a few people, especially if you've got, say, three or four weeks notice, you've got time to go around and say, if you were in my shoes, preaching in a week or two or three, what would you hope I would be speaking on? So secondly, ask about the needs. Thirdly, use one scripture. Do yourself a favor. Just use one scripture, one verse, one passage, one paragraph, just one. More than one, it gets a bit complicated. And I know there's a temptation to try and back up your points with other scriptures, and that's fine in some contexts. But if this is your first time, I urge you, use one passage, one scripture, and stay in it. The shorter, the better, perhaps a parable, or perhaps a, a small, a short part of a uh, historical narrative with a story in. Those also tend to be a little easier to preach on, at least in my experience. Fourthly, fourthly, one point. So you've got one scripture, now one point. Make your sermon, make your sermon to be about one point. Most sermons really are, or should be, and most passages really are about one thing. So make your first sermon be about one point from one passage. Keep that one in mind. One point will serve you well. And then add in there one personal story. It really helps your congregation, or whoever you're speaking to, if, you can, if they can connect with you. And the best way to connect is by you telling a story about yourself, about something that happened to you or you did, that connects with the point of the story. Obviously not just for the sake of it, it needs to actually connect, but one story. So one passage, one point, one story will make a big difference. That's your fifth uh, uh, tip there. And sixthly, don't be afraid to offer a challenge to the people you're speaking to. They probably want one. We all do. We like to hear scripture. We like to hear it challenge us, not in a heavy way, but just to stimulate us to godly behavior and Christ-likeness. So don't be afraid, even if it's your first time, even if you feel like, it, uh, who am I? You've been called by God to speak to these people, so offer them a challenge. Please do that. That's our sixth point. And seventhly, aha, practice. Practice your opening and your closing, the beginning and the end. In other words, the very first sentence and the very last sentence. It really helps if you've got that down. You've written it out and you've practiced it, especially at the beginning. As you get up to speak, 
It's your very first time. If you already know the first five to ten words you're going to say, it will settle you down and you'll get into the flow of the lesson and you'll be off and running and you'll be fine. It also helps to have that, those last few words prepared because it is tempting sometimes to get to the end of a lesson and uh, uh, that's the end and uh, thank you very much. But it, it, it helps to land somewhere, land somewhere with that last few words, connecting back to the main point, your one main point in your one passage uh, that you're speaking on uh, for that day. So seven tips there, number one ask to pick your own passage. Number two, ask what the local needs are. Number three, one scripture. Number four, one point. Number five, one personal story. Number six, offer us a challenge. And number seven, practice the beginning and the end. The first few words and the last few words. So I hope that's helpful. Please let me know if it is and what tips I've missed. Perhaps you think, can think of some other things that would help a first time speaker. Leave a comment wherever you hear or see this recording. Leave it here where other people can see it so that we can learn from one another because we learn best when we learn in community. Together, we learn from each other. It's so helpful to do that. So thank you for listening. And if you don't mind, I can, if I can ask you one favor, which is please pass this on to one other person. Let one other person know about these recordings. Pass it on in some way or other. Bear in mind, by the way, in Luke chapter 4, Jesus preached his first at least recorded sermon. And at the end of it, they were amazed, but also they wanted to throw him off a cliff. <laughs> I don't know about the impact of your first lesson. I hope you don't get thrown off a cliff. But nonetheless, first lessons can have a big impact. If Jesus is good, so can yours. Until the next time, I hope you have a terrific Tuesday and a wonderful week. God bless.